In this lesson, we're going to be creating one custom formula that's going to get all of the questions and then get all of the responses and then return back for each row the calculated average of those responses. And this is all done through Google Apps Script. This lesson, we're going to be creating a custom formula that's going to take in the questions and then calculate out all of the average responses that we have from the three columns. And we're going to be using Apps Script in order to do that under extension, select Apps Script. That's going to open up the Apps Script editor. And here we can create a custom function. So what we're doing is we're calculating the average ratings within this function. We're going to need some arguments, some parameters here. So we've got one is going to list out all of the questions that we have. And then this is going to list out an array of all of the responses. Let's set up an array that we can use that's going to return back the average ratings. And this is going to be a plural, so it's returning back all of the average ratings. And in the end, after we do the calculations, we're returning back whatever values we've got within the average eight ratings. And that should populate all of the rows of data just beneath. So we're creating a loop to loop through, get starting out with the value of i. So let the value of i equals zero and looping through while i is less than the value of questions length because we're gonna have, in this case, three questions and we're gonna loop through each one of those rows. So let's uh, set up a value. We can call this total rating and set that to be a value of zero and then have another loop inside. And this is going to loop through all of the responses. So set up another variable. We'll use j in this case. And we're going to loop through while j is less than the value of responses. And because we're getting the responses in an array, so we're going to get the value of i for the responses. And then we need to return back the length. So this is going to indicate all of the columns of contents. We want to return back all three columns of values there within that array and then increment J by one. So we need to also then update the total rating that we've set to zero and that's going to add to the rating using the value of responses with the index value of I. And then to get the column, we're going to be using the index value of J. So it's going to return back and calculate out the average rating. And then here we can set up a variable that's going to capture our average rating value. So average rating and set the average rating to be the total rating. So that's a value that we've got here within this loop divided by the responses using the index value of i, the length. So that's going to allow us to divide our total by the number of items that we have calculated. And that will give us an average value. And then here we need to push that back into the average readings array. So we push that back in. And because this is going to be the value that we're outputting, we're going to set it within an array and then set the average rating within there. So now we're ready to try out this formula. So going back into the Google spreadsheet, select the equal sign, and now let's populate our data. So we need all of the questions. So the questions are going to be A2 through to A4. And then the responses are going to be B2 through to D4. So that gives us the average rating. So we know 3, 4, and 5. So that calculates out to 12 divided by the 3 is equal to 4. And then we've also got the average readings being output to there. 